Hello there and welcome to Coley's Garden. Today is the 1st of May and so today I'm going to give you an update on my mint cutting. So it's been growing in here now for a good couple of weeks. And I took this as a cutting from the parent plant in the backyard. And as you can see here, it has these beautiful long roots. So it's definitely time to put this in the ground. And as you can see over here, I've got lots of more mint cuttings. And I'm also drying out some mint hair. Um, and I'm going to pop these into a jar. And this will be my loose mint tea leaves for my shop. Okay, so let's take this into the backyard now. Okay, so just deciding now where to plant this is the other thing. Um, because I do want this to grow abundantly into the garden. So... As you can see over here, we've got lots of mint in the patio garden. So I'm just going to put some in. No, maybe actually not. I'm actually going to put this into the vegetable garden patch over here. Um, you can see we've got some mint that I transplanted a couple of weeks ago. So yes, I'm going to pop my mint in here. So we've got excellent soil in here. This is a mixture of native soil, compost and bark. So all my plants are doing really well in here. Just going to backfill that in here now. And so I'll give you another update in a couple of weeks and I will show you how this plant is doing. And that's all there is to it. So a couple of weeks and you should have a beautiful mint plant to put into the ground. It's a very easy plant to grow. And as you can see in here, everything is growing abundantly. We have lots of oxide daisies there, lots of primroses, onions, garlic. The daffodils unfortunately now have died back. So soon I'll be able to harvest the seeds. So everything is looking fabulous. And I still have to finish this raised garden bed over here. I'm just looking for the right day to do it. And of course, still have to add some compost and bark. But there's so much life going on in the backyard today. Each day, actually, every time you go out to the garden, there's always something new. Oh, look at the beautiful swallows. Oh, they're so beautiful. So they're nesting in our shed at the moment. They've been doing that now for actually over 300 years. Um, so they come back every year from North Africa. And have some beautiful Irish swallows. You can see the tulips there in Cowley Secret Garden. Everything is growing beautifully here. We have the beautiful Gilda Rose. So eventually now that will come into flower. Just want to show you the beautiful rowan tree, also known as a mountain ash. Just want to show you all the beautiful buds there. Isn't that beautiful? It's looking fab. Yeah, so I have a good feeling about this year. Um, with all that planting that I've done over the last couple of weeks, it's really starting to show now. And a lot more to do in the future to come, please God. So I've got a lot of work to do, a lot of planting to do, a lot of weeding as well. As you can see, this is a wild patch in the backyard, which I don't mind too much because, I mean, it's in introducing lots of wildlife. It's a great... Um, Oh, look at the beautiful swallows. Oh, wow. I'm so happy. Yeah, so I don't mind having a wild patch in the garden, as you can see over here. This is also part of our land. So we kind of um, left that wild for the bees, the birds and the butterflies and so on. Um, I'm sure eventually we will do something with it. Um, but for now, it's just a wild, untouched patch of land. You can see the copper beach there in the centre. Let me just go a little bit closer. Yeah, so we planted that there a good couple of years ago now. 
but it's very happy. It's really happy there. So I, my my goal anyways is to eventually build a house over there for my son. This will be his patch of land. He can do whatever he likes with it. Hopefully he'll do something similar to us. Um, create an abundance in the garden. Which I'm sure he will. You can see all the beautiful buds on the apple tree right there. I'm just going to show you some of the chives. So this is an edible plant right down to the root. And eventually now these buds will pop open and give me lots of seeds to work with and for the birds of course. Look how massive the weeping willow tree is growing. It's unbelievable. And as you can see over here, the gorse is in full bloom right now and it smells absolutely gorgeous. It has a beautiful coconut fragrant smell. So this is an excellent shrub to put in your garden if you want to um, use it as a defensive hedge. It can be used for that. But it's also great for attracting pollinators such as the bees, the birds and the butterflies and so much more. Um, but it's definitely an excellent defensive hedge to have in the garden. You can see there the apple tree is growing beautifully. Plenty of wildlife out there, there's lots of birds. The swallows are very happy. You can see over there we have the starling bird. Lots of crows. So there's so much life out here, which is always nice to see. And just below me here, I just want to show you the mint. And as you can see, it grows abundantly. Wherever you plant it, it will spread everywhere, which is, I mean, what I want. I want an abundance in the garden everywhere. So there's so much life and abundance in here. Even look, you can see there, I have a sycamore tree growing that just grew here from seed and I'm going to let that just grow here anyways because this will be a part of my hedgerow you can see the roses there yeah, there's so much beauty for all to see isn't there thanks very much for watching and God bless